Thank you very much. Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to Block Drop. I'm Adam Bysouth, and this is the quiz show which is based on your knowledge and skill. Now, today we have two players competing to win big money, and the aim of the game is to make your opponents knock down the tower block. Now, I'll be asking the questions that are each worth £100, which will go into the prize pot of the contestant who buzzes in and answers first. Now, if answered correctly, the opposite contestant has to remove a block from the tower, but if answered incorrectly, then you have to remove a block yourself. So now you know the game, let's meet the people who are playing it. And first through the door of my flat is yesterday's winner, Joe Dobson. Let's give him a massive round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Joe. You've yeah. done this before. Make yeah. yourself at home. Let's see okay. if you can make it a double win today on Good Block so. Drop. As we meet the lady who you are up against, this is ever so beautiful and lovely, Tiffany Holland, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Tiffany, well Hi. done. <laughs> Welcome. Congratulations. Well Thank done you. for making it this far in the round. Make yourself feel at home. I hope the competition as well, all right. But please, no fighting, okay? Because at the end of the day, Block Drop is a family show. So now we have met the contestants. Let's crack on with the first round. And the first round will be all multiple choice questions. But remember, Tiffany and Joe, you have to buzz in to answer. Now, each correctly answered question earns you £100. And your opponent will then have to remove a block from the tower. But if you make the tower fall, then you'll go back down to £0 in the bank. And we'll move on to round two. So now you know the rules. Let's play Block Drop. The best of luck, guys. What year did the Second World War end? Was it A, 1951, B, 1940, or C, 1945? Joe, mate. 1945. That is correct. Tiffany, you're up. Where are you going to go? <sighs> oh, I heard that sigh. Come on, <sighs> it's not that bad. Only one block. Middle. Nicely done. OK, question number two. How many licks on average does it take to one to finish, sorry, one scoop of ice cream? Is it A15, B25, or C50? <laughs> Tiffany. 50. That is correct. Joe. Okay. One all. Take your block from the tower. Easy does it. Okay. Nicely done. Still all to play for as we go through to question number three. What state would you find the Grand Canyon in? Is it A California? B, Texas, or C, Arizona? <laughs> Tiffany. Arizona. That is correct, Joe, right, you're then. up. <clears throat> Where's he gonna go? Straight yeah. down the middle, still all to play for. Yeah. Which vegetable was originally purple? Was it A, potato, B, carrots, or C, broccoli? <laughs> Tiffany. Carrots. That is correct, right. Joe, you're up again, mate. <clears throat> Tell you what, it's all about girl power today, isn't it? Oh yes, I saw that. Victorious <laughs> fist bump there. Okay. That's what we like. Fighting talk indeed on block <laughs> drop. Okay, according to Takeaway UK, this should all be easy for you two as you're both students. Uh, how much does the average Brit now spend on takeaways each year? Is it A, £1,320, B, £965, or C, £1,500? Joe. A. £1,320? Yeah. Is that a guess? Yeah. Well, it's a very good guess, as it is correct. <laughs> okay. Tiffany, you are nice. up. With a minute left on the clock, where is she going to go? Remember, you can use both hands. God. Oh. Don't need to be told that. She's using them both anyway. That'll do. There we go. Still looking pretty sturdy there, that tower. But again, it's still all to play for. What percentage of your bones are in your feet? Is it A, 75%? B, 25% or C, 10%? Joe? 25%. 25%. That is correct, Joe. I'm afraid, yeah. Tiffany, you're in again. Ooh, where is she going to go? 20 seconds left on the clock. OK, we might have time for one more question. It's in wobbling. 2014, Children in Need raised how much money? Was it A, 36.6 million? B, 32.6 billion, or C, 45.6 million. Tiffany? B. 32.6 million, that is correct. All right. Joe, you're up, mate. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
So it is still all to play for with round one in the bag. We are going to crank up the tension ever so slightly for round two, but this time our players will have no multiple choice answers to choose from. So the best of luck, guys. Let's tumble the chat. Please just excuse the pun. And let's get dropping. The best of luck, Tiffany and Joe, as we go through to round two. Who was the ninth Doctor in the BBC series Doctor Who? Joe. Christopher Eccleston. That is correct. Tiffany, you're up. Nothing's loose. Oh, nothing is loose. Maybe try the right oh. one. <laughs> there we go. Very smooth, Tiffany. Very, very smooth indeed. Prince William and Kate Middleton recently became parents for the second time, but have but what, sorry, have they named their daughter? Joe. Is it Charlotte? That is correct. Okay. Tiffany, I'm afraid you're up again. The current champion is biting back. That's what I can tell you. Again, straight down the middle. Easy does it, Tiff. Easy does it. Wow. Okay, with a minute left on the clock in round two. Still, all to play for in this game. How many lines does a sonnet have? One for the English language students. Tiffany? Is it 14? Was that a guess? Yeah. Very good guess <laughs> indeed. That is correct. Oh, okay. Joe, you're up. All right. Where are you going to go? Oh. Oh. Okay. That was a nice find there. Well, that, 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 was that was just grabbing it, it you, was wasn't it? waiting for, yeah. Literally waiting to get out of the tower. <laughs> In which movie does Jack Nicholson say, here's Johnny? The Joe. Shining. <clears throat> that is correct. Are you a fan? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. A little Just bit. a little bit. Just a bit. Well, your yeah. fandom played to your advantage there. Tiffany, you're up. She's very keen. Where is she going to go? Uh, ooh, OK, so. That is the end of round two. Okay, still all to play for. So how would you feel about winning big today with Block Drop right from the comfort of your own sofa? Sounds very appealing, doesn't it? Well, just take a look at this to find out how. We want you to be in a chance of winning a grand prize of £2,000 from the comfort of your own living room. Sounds good, doesn't it? Well, all you need to do is answer this question correctly and you could be our quick win champion. So how many blocks did the original Block Drop Tower consist of? Is it A50, B52 or C54? Now, if you think you know the answer, then text either A, B or C to 12 or visit our website itv.com forward slash block drop. Now, calls from a BT landline will be charged and from mobiles will cost considerably more. The best of luck. All right, then. So this is the moment we've been waiting for the deadlock round. Indeed, hey, this is when our players take turns in removing blocks, but whoever makes it fall loses and goes home with nothing. The person that doesn't make it fall wins the money they have in their prize pot and gets to play again on tomorrow's show. So, can we have two minutes on the clock, please? And Tiffany, since you have the least amount of money in your prize pot, you are up first. Where are you going to go? The tower is yours. See a little bit of wobble there. Joe, you're up next, mate. Where's he gonna go? Nobody knows. Remember, you are still allowed to use both hands if that helps. Again, straight down the middle there. And the tower is still standing. Tiffany, you're up next. Where are you gonna go? Hmm. No, can't not, find anywhere. Not trying down there. Just yet, no, is that not budging? Oh, right near the top there. Joe, you're next, mate. Where are you gonna go? Oh, ooh. Uh -huh. Currently at the moment, it is five, six to Joe. The 
is still in the lead. Could all change though. We're still going for it. We are still <laughs> doing it. Oh my word. Take your time, Joe. Where are you going to go? Oh. I knew a tower could be so intense. I know. Who knew that a wooden tower could be so intense, eh? Okay, Joe. Well done. Well done with 30 seconds left on the clock, Tiffany. Where are you going to go? Mm. Oof. Oh. Joe, I'm afraid I'm going to have to hurry you net with this yeah. one. Expected that one to fall. Oh man. Ten this seconds left on the this clock. This isn't gonna go well. Get it now. No. Come no. on. Fred Joe, I'm gonna have to hurry you, mate. I'm gonna have oh. to hurry you. Oh! <laughs> so, with the tower falling, okay. that means the winner of today's show is Tiffany! <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Tiffany. Very well done. You take home whatever in your prize pot and commiserations, I'm afraid, to All you, right, Joe. We're having a good time, though. Yes, it was good. Again, you Great. still managed to win big yesterday. Yeah. So, thank you very much to my wonderful contestants, the crew, and of course, to you for watching at home. But for now, though, have yourselves a great evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Have yourselves a good one. Take care. Goodbye. Okay. Well done, Tiffany. Congratulations. <laughs> well done. Okay. Well done, yeah. Joe. Congratulations, Joe. Okay. 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 Who would have known? Who would have known at all? It was that, that last little wiggle of the end. I knew that. Oh, okay. 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 Okay.